Okay, okay welcome, welcome back. back. Now we're in our final video of our CRUD where we'll, we will be performing a delete action on our products. So here we have our product view and if you remember in the last video we um, did our edit and when you click on the edit button it passes that ID value via, via the URL. So similarly, when you click on delete, it passes the ID of the row that you click on through or via the URL. So let us now add some functionality for our delete button. So back in our editor, let us create a new file. And we're going to name it delete.php. And first thing, to do is require our database connection. All right, so similarly, it's gonna be very similar to our update script. All right, the only thing that's really going to be different is that we're only going to delete using the ID and our query is going to be a delete query instead of an update query. So first, let us check our ID is set so get ID and if it is set if it's not set we want to uh, display an error saying Is, if it is set, now we want to actually set our ID variable to equal that ID value. Sorry, it should be square brackets. So ID. So now we can create our query. So our query it will be equal to delete from our products table where our product ID is equal to and we'll put our placeholder okay so now we can build our SQL prepared statement so let's say SQL is equal to our connection to prepare our query all right so by now this should all be very familiar to you so now we're going to say SQL or binding the parameters now so bind param. and in this case we're using an integer so we will say use our placeholder to be I and our actual value is our ID now we can say if SQL statement is executed and let us just copy this section here uh, just to prevent a bit of typing as it's pretty much similar did it come copy paste okay so now in this section we are just going to say deleted and we're going to redirect to the products page and they're going to say update error instead of update we're going to say delete and then we're closing our connections all right so there is one other step that we will look at in a later video so let me show you what I mean so let's save this and go back to our products page and let us refresh so let us say we want to delete our spark plug right now if we click on delete it's simply going to delete it from our table and we do not get any type of confirmation message or pop-up and when we go to our database of course 
it has been deleted from our database so ideally what you would want is to have a confirmation message a pop-up and usually this is done with javascript you know kind of alerting the user hi hey you want you're trying to delete this product do you want to actually proceed yes or no right so you should give people that option whether or not they want to delete something because you know people do things by mistake maybe you go to click the edit button and your finger may slip and you click the delete button and you would definitely want to have some type of fail safe or confirmation asking if that's what you really want to do before you delete it um, out of the database so we will look at how to implement that in a later video but for now we have pretty much all the functionality um, of our CRUD operations and now since we have this module completed I definitely want to push my changes up to github so let me open up my command prompt and we're going to change our folder here to ZAMP ZAMP HD docs store all right and here we want to do a git add and we're going to add all the changes that we have made so far and let us now do a git commit message so commit and let's put a message implemented CRUD functionality alright and now finally we do a git push Okay, so we shouldn't really have to do an origin master. We've already done that. Origin master. Okay, apparently I'm not logged into GitHub. So let me log into GitHub and try this again. Alright, so I'm now logged in. So let us let us just try git push. Alright, so let us actually use sometimes the command line will tell you what you need to actually enter for it to work. So let us try that. so it looks like that was successful so let us now check let's refresh our auto store and here we can see that we have now pushed up our changes and the so on the files that we were, weren't there before are now added all right so thank you for watching and look out for the next video where we will implement some more changes to our interface and also um, include um, some type of mail functionality into our project. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.